Man, I come in here and I feel like I sound like Mr. Rogers because I hit y'all with the same conversation on a regular basis. But, man, some of these days alone, it's been a busy one for me. Had to do some diversity, equity, inclusion advocacy today. A little panel work on the subject of autism. So a lot of my days are pretty occupied, but... Right now, I'm here for the work. And I hope you guys are too. So, per my last email, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> per our last discussion, today is going to be an upper body session. Looking forward to that. And we're going to work tempo today. Tempo and endurance. That's always fun for me. It's a new field. As soon as I get this mouth back on, come on. So, bring your A game. It's time to work. So, I got multiple things. I got big dumbbells. Little dumbbells will incorporate these two. Save these little dogs for later. But, we're going to do tempo asymmetrically today. So, we will have four blocks of work. All right? Time based movements. And in between these time-based movements, we will incorporate a little cardio just to keep the heart rate up. Some of these time-based movements will have us on the ground. The first time around, we'll have us on the ground for sure. And it's going to be all fun. So give me a second to make sure that everything in the back is all unlocked. So I won't have people running through the middle of my workout area. And we're going to make it happen. Got my towel. Got my hydrate on my water. This is something I use on days when I'm pretty thin on nutrition. I haven't eaten a lot around this time, so I use this to keep myself elevated enough to where I can make it through the workout. And it's also great for hydration. Water is too, but I just like this. So, when we work asymmetrically, you know how we do it. One arm at a time, on one side of the body at a time. Get your timer set. Oh, my brother called me mid-workout. Get your timer set for what I would consider to be traditional strength training. I don't want to say functional, because it won't jump around a lot. It won't matter anyway. We still need a good heart rate. So get that set up, and we'll dive right into it. Make sure my online situation is where it needs to be. Let me see. You throw this together. I don't think I have my live set up on. There we go. There we go. All right. I was about to mess it up for all my Instagram people. I'm glad I did that. That was tricky. All right. There he is. That's right, Lou. You know what time it is. Okay, so let's get it going. Lou, set it up.
All right. Okay, so while we're waiting on that, let's go. Arms up. Let's get those shoulders loose. Some people call this the scarecrow, some people call this the tin man. Whatever it's called, it's great for loosening up those shoulders, getting them right. All right, get two more in. One, two, let's take it down. This is a little bit more difficult for me, but I'm still working in. Let's get five more in. Five, four, three, two, one. Big service. Arms up. Take it back. Get that good range of motion. Up. Back. And this is a struggle for me, too. When I get back to this point, it gets real tough to try to work. Those shoulder blades into a circular motion. Get movement out of them. Let's get one more and we'll take it back the other direction. Call. So let's take it to the back. And really round out those shoulder blades. Down. Wrap them up. There you go. Get them up there. Down. Let's get one more in. Ooh, now we're ready to work. Okay. This is what we got going on. You got space in your house. Get that mat. Get on the ground. If you got carpet, that's cool too. That'll work. All right. First exercise, what we're going to have is going to be asymmetric work. So we'll work with one side of the body first. Then we'll switch to the other side. We'll do three exercises, one side, then switch. All right. So what I'm going to do is get to the ground. We're going to go chest press, okay, with tempo. It'll be a time-based exercise. But for a tempo, we'll do 16 just like this. Down, press, down, press. 16 like that. After that, we will switch, okay? We will switch to a rotating press. You'll take it away from here, turn it down, and turn it back up. Bring it down just like this, slow and controlled. We'll do eight of those. After we're done with that, same arm. We'll go two press, and two, and then we'll turn and bring it down, okay? And turn it back over. So keep that in mind. We will work that entire process. When we're done with that, we'll switch sides, and then we'll go back and forth again. So get that rip. There is that mouth. There he is. I'm not sure why my dang mouth is doing that though. I'll close that. And open it again. All right, but get your mind on the exercise. Don't let the, the lack of music wear you out. Just be like that sometimes. There we go. Now we're cooking with grease. Let's close that. Get down to the business. And let's go to work, people. Oh, I was ready to go to work in two of my. There we go. Let's crank it back up. All right, here we go. Let's get down to the ground. We start off with my right. And we're gonna press in three, two, one. This is our starting point. Down and up. Down. That's two. Down. Three. When you press, keep that back on the ground. Keep playing. Here we go. Five. Elbow alignment. Six. Just like this. Don't have that elbow too high to the shoulder. Let's go. Eight. Nine. Ten. We got six more. Eleven. Twelve. Work that, about that chest muscle. Thirteen. The pectoral. Fourteen. Give me two more. Fifteen. Last one. Sixteen. All right. We'll turn that over. And we'll work it into a tuck roll and rotate. All right. So here we go. We're going in three, two, one. We'll turn. And press. That's one. Turn. And press. That's two. Turn. And press. That's three. Turn. And press. That's four. You should feel a lot of tricep right here. That's five. Come on. Here we go. Press. That's six. That's seven. Last one. Eight. All right. Realign that. We're going to do two press, one turn, and press. Combo of four. We're going in three, two, one. Down. Press. Down. Press. Turn. Bring it down. Press. Turn it over. Down. Press. Down. Press. Turn it. Lower. Go back up. Turn it over. Down. Press. 
down. Press, turn it over, bring it down, take it back up. Last time, down. Press, down, press, turn it over, drop down, press up, rotate. All right. That's one arm down. We're switching to the other side now. I know you're going to be back for a while. I know the chest and tricep is burning. Let's get back into it for the other side. We're starting in three, two, one. That's down. Press. That's two. Burn it out. Three. Really contract that muscle. Four. Stomach tight. Five. Back flat to the ground. Six. No arching. Seven. If you're arching, yes. Your weight is too I can't even talk. Your weight is too heavy. That's 10. 11. 12. Good form on the press. 13. Bring the weight down. Align to the chest. That's 14. Give me two more. 15. And 16. All right. We do the turnover. Rotate. Tricep press in three, two, one. Bring it down. And up. That's one. Turn it over. Come down. Press. That's two. Turn it around and press. That's three. Bring it down. Turn it over. That's four. Do not let that elbow rest on the ground. Let it skim the ground. Come back up. That's five. Letting it rest is taking the pressure off the chest on the tricep. That's six. Give me two more. That's seven. Turn it over. That's eight. All right, here we go. Combo time. Two press, one rotate press. Four reps, we're going in three, two, one, press, press, turn it over, bring it back up and rotate, that's one, press, press, turn it over, bring it down, take it back up, we're halfway there, press, press, turn it over, bring it down, bring it back up, rotate, last one, press, press, Turn it over, bring it down, rotate, back up. All right, good job. Left side down. We got to go to the next side, taking it back to the right. So you take it to the right, then back to the left, and then we're done with this particular block. All right, if you need to drop down your weight, that's perfectly okay. Sometimes our endurance isn't where we think it needs to be. If you need to get a sip of water right now, go do so, but we're going to get right into it. Here we go. Get your weight up. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Press. That's one. Two, three, four. Keep good form. Five. Notice how I bring that dumbbell right to the chest. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Make that chest work. Eleven. Twelve. Four more. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. And sixteen. All right, here we go. Get ready. Rotate and press. And four. Three. Two. Let's go. Bring it down. Rotate. Press up. Turn it over. Let's rotate down. And press. That's two. Bring it down. Press up. That's three. When I drop that elbow down, it's close to the side of my ribs. Back up. That's four. We're halfway there. That's five. Turn it over. Bring it down. Six. Give me two more. Seven. Make sure you control it. Last one. And eight. All right. We're going to work our combo now. Two press, one rotating press. We're going in four, three, two, let's go. Press. Press. Rotate. Back up. Let's go. Press. Keep good form. Press. Rotate. Back up. Halfway. Press. You got it, folks. Press. I know it's burning. Stay in good form. Don't compromise your back. Last one. Press. Press. Rotate. And press. Good job. All right. Sit that down for a hot second. Taking it back to the left side. I know the chest is burning. This is the last set. Loosen another arm up. Shake it loose. Get that blood flow back together. We're going back to it. Left side in three, two, one. Press. Press. Good form. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, two more, 15, last one, and 16. All right, get yourself together, coming from the tricep. Let's get the weight in the air. We're going in three, two, one. Down. Rotate and press. That's one. Down. Rotate and press. That's two. Down. Rotate and press. That's three. Down. Rotate and press. That's four. Keep that stomach tight. That's five. That's six. Turn. Seven. Last one. Turn. And that's eight. All right, here we go with our combination. Two press, one rotating press. Four reps. We're going in three, two, one. Press. Press. Rotate. Down. Up. That's one. Press. Good form right here. Press. Rotate to the ground. Back up. That's two. Press. Press. Rotate down. Back up. That's three. Last one. Press. Press. Rotate down. And up. Woo! Get off the ground. All right. Block one done. What we're going to do here is have a one minute interval. Let me get this out of the way. Of some light cardio. We'll start off with 30 seconds of simulated jump rope. We follow that up with 30 seconds of high knees, all right? So we're going to start jump rope action. First 30 seconds, just act like you're jumping rope. Second 30 seconds, go here and just raise your knees. If you can't jump, just stay here, okay? That's perfectly okay. My ankles bother me a little bit, so I may have to put on my jump. Here we go, folks. 30 seconds each. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Jump it out. Yeah, I've been having some ankle problems. So it aches on and off. So you see I'm kind of jumping on that right. But if you can't do it, just get here, okay? Just get here. Just get fast feet. All right? Marching, steps, whatever we can do to keep it bounding. But if you can jump, do it, okay? Come on, we got 10 seconds. Let me switch to the high knees. Going five, four, three, two, let's switch. High knees. It's funny. I can do high knees better than I can do jump ropes. Come on, 20 seconds left. Get a good pace going. And notice now, when I'm moving, I'm not leaning back like this. I'm staying here to make that core work for me. We're done in six seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, block one down. Get a sip of water. Moving on to block two. Got a quick sip. Wipe down if you have to. You know what? I got a big two fly with a, put it on my waist. We start putting it on my mat. This is what we're gonna do. Back to the ground. More chest work. We're gonna start off with chest flies. Notice this time we're using both dumbbells. We're gonna start off with chest flies. You open and close. Open and close, okay? We'll do chest flies first. Then we'll get our weights here. What we'll do is call a supinated pull over. So we'll hold the weights, butt the butt right here, take the weights here, and then pull them back, okay? We'll do six reps of each, and we'll rotate between three sets. So we'll do the chest flies, then to the pull overs, and then we'll do that for two more cycles for a total of three. So I'm going to put the hands to the side. You may need to stay with those, that's fine. I'm grabbing 15. That's what I need right now. But make sure you maintain that control. We go six, six. Take a break. Here we go. Chest press. Chest fly. We're going in three, two, one. We're going to open and close. Open and close. Don't let those elbows rest. Open. Close. That's three. Go. Got three more. 
All right, our combination. All right, here's our combination. We start here. We bend over, down, pull, raise up. Then we go up, press, down, and we get back here, okay? We'll do four of those combinations. All right, so get a weight you can respect at this point. The right answer for me is going to be somewhere between 15 to 20. We will try 20 first. If it doesn't kill me, I'll hang out through it. But if not, we'll drop down to 15. Let's get it going. All right, let's go with staggered rows first. Get myself into a good view. So, just like before, just like block one, we'll do one side and switch to the other side and then go through one more cycle like that and we'll be done. I want to block four after that. All right, so here we go. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Get it here. We go down, here, pull, let's raise up. Down, pull. And when you pull, pull this close to your hip. Here we go. That's three, down, pull. That's four, down, that's five, down, squeeze that back, the shoulder blade is where we need to squeeze, pull, that's seven, oh, that's eight, all right, go into our staggered dumbbell press, overhead press, get the weight ready, we're going in three, two, one, here we go, one, up, down, that's one, up, press, down, that's two, up, press, down, that's three, get it here, press, that's four, get it here, press, that's five, here, press, that's six, but that's a bad one right there, press, hold it right here, that's seven, turn, press, get here, and that's eight, all right, here are our combos. So don't forget, we go into our row, come back up to our press. All the way here, we're going in three, two, one. Down, press, raise up, get here, press, overhead, that's one. Down, squeeze, up, press, down, that's two, then over. Row, squeeze that back, come up, press, down, that's three. Last one, squeeze the row, come up, elbow up, press, down, let's go. Good job, people. One side done, switch it to the other side. And remember, when we press that weight up, we don't want to lean too far back. Keep ourselves upright, stomach tight, support yourself. Switch it to the left arm. We're going in three, two, one. Get started. That's one. That's two. Squeeze. That's three. You want to squeeze that shoulder blade. That's four. That's five. That's six. Slow it down if you can. Get it here. Squeeze. That's seven. Now. Squeeze. And that's eight. All right, here we go. Overhead dumbbell press. You can stack it if you like. Stand toe to toe if you need to. We're going in three, two, one. Bring it up. Press. Down. That's one. Up. Get our press. Down. That's two. Up. Press. Down. That's three. Up. Stay stable. Keep it all in the arm. That's four. Up. That's five. Give me three more. That's six. That's seven. Here we go. And eight. All right, let's work our combo. Let's get to our row session. All right, remember what I said about the triggers with your back. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. Let's go. Then down. Down. Row. Come up. Get the weight here. Press. Down. That's one. Bend over. Down. Row. Stand up. Wait. Press. Down. That's two. Down. Drop down. Get your row in. Bam. Come up. Get here. Overhead press. Bam. That's three. Last one. Squeeze that back. Come up. Press. Overhead. Down. Let's go. Get a sip of water real quick. We do our last set. One on the right, one on the left. We got this, people. All right, folks, get your 
situated. It's your time. Still got my 20. I'm holding strong. We're going in four, three, two, let's go. Bend over. Row. There it is. Up. That's one. Bend down. Squeeze. Up. That's two. Down. Squeeze. Up. That's three. Down. Squeeze. Up. That's four. Bend over. Squeeze. That's five. Bend over. Squeeze. That's six. In here. You got two more. Squeeze. Stand up right foot. You got this. Get down. Row. That's eight. Good job. All right. Check it off. You need to get through. Here you go. All right, here we go. Somebody left the jacket. You got a quick break. All right, let's go to the press. Get our weights. Stand staggered. Eight reps. In three, two, one. Up. Press. Down. Lock that shoulder blade to hold it in place right there. There, right here. Don't put the pressure on your bicep. Press. Three. Press. Four. Press. That's five. Press. That's six. And two more. Bam. There we go. Just like that. Seven. Last one. And that's eight. All right. Here go our combination. Get to your lunge. We're going in four, three, two, one. Then over. Row. Pull it up. Stand up. And press. That's one. Bend down. Let's row. Stand up. And press. That's two. And down. Let's row. Stand up. Press. So work in your shoulder. That's three. Let's go. Row. Stand up. Turn. Press. And down. And that's four. Woo! That burns something like crazy. All right. Back to the left side. Shake it out. We got no time to waste. Here we go. Get to your stacking position. Get our row going in four, three, two. Let's go. Row. Squeeze. Stand up. That's one. Down. Squeeze. Stand up. That's two. Squeeze. That's three. Squeeze. That's four. Squeeze. That's five. Squeeze that. That's six. That's seven. Get his last one in. And that's eight. All right, shake that out. Here we go. Stagger to the shoulder press. In three, two, one. Bring it up. Press. Regular position. Up. Press. And that's two. Up. Press. That's three. Up. Press. That's four. Halfway there. That's five. Press. We got two more. Up. Press. Seven. Last one. Up. Press. And eight. All right. Shake it out a little bit. Here we go. Our last combo. With stagger. Rolling positions. We're going in three. Two, one, lean, row, pull, stand up, turn, press, reset, down, squeeze the rope, stand up, weight to the shoulder, press overhead, down, that's two, bend over, row, squeeze the rope back up, to the shoulder, and press, down, that's three, last time to bend over, row, stand up, to the shoulder, and press, and that's four. Sit that weight down. All right. We're going to time the waist. Let's get to our cardio. Last block of work coming up. Here we go, folks. We're starting. In five, four, three, two, let's go. Get the jump rope. This ain't meant to tire you out. This is to help you keep your heart rate going. Keep jumping. Look, and even though I'm not moving fast, I still got beads of sweat on 
my head. Come on, folks. 15 seconds left. Stay with me. Stomach tight. Keep a bend in your knees. Keep that bounce going. Notice how my heels are not touching the ground. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Let's run down. High knees. Come on. Keep it moving. It ain't got to be super fast. Stay with it, folks. You're doing great. Less than 15 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Get a quick sip. Last block coming up. Last block coming up. That's probably the thing people love to hear. Alright, going back to the ground. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to get my mat out. Five steps and shoulders. So I'm going to get this in place. My little way set up. Got 25 right there. 25 right there. And I'll get my 10s. I'm working two combinations of exercises. First exercise. Alright, first exercise. It's gonna be what's called a thrust to negative curl. So what we do is we're here, we're set. On our knees, I'll turn sideways so you can see it better. And what we do is we, we rock back, throw the weights up, and control the weights down. In here, bring them back again, and control it down. So when we do this, we should be able to do it with a heavier weight. So I'm not using 15s for this. We'll go with my 25s, because that's what the action requires. So we're going to do that with our 25s. The next exercise is going to be basic kneeling lateral raises. I'll switch to the lighter weights. So I am going to do the 10s. I'm going to raise and lower. Raise and lower. All right, so we got six reps of each. So we get it in. Oh, for three sets. So we're from one to the next for three total sets. Get that rocking motion down to where you can rock back. Get that weight up here and ease it down into a straight position. We're working our biceps on the descent. It's a little bit confusing, but once you get used to it, it'll be easy money. Here we go. We're going in three, two, one. Rock back, throw it up, ease it down. That's one. Rock back, throw it up, ease it down. That's two. Rock back, throw it up, ease it down. That's three. Ease it down. That's four. Rock back, throw it up, ease it down. That's five. Rock back, throw it up, ease it down. That's six. All right, let's get those weights down. Get our smaller weights. If you don't have smaller, just go without any weights. Lateral raises up when you need. We're going in three, two, one. One. Control it down. Two. Control it down. Three. No reason to go heavy here. This is the smallest muscle in your shoulder. Four. Control it down. Five. Control it down. Last one. Six. Control it down. Set that down. Get back to the swing and dumbbell descends. We're going to tie. Four, three, two, let's go. Up. Control it down. That's one. Back. Up. Control it down. That's two. Back. Up. Control it down. That's three. Rock back. Throw it up. Control it down. Keep that stomach tight. Two more. That's five. Last one. Rock back. Throw it up. Descend. And that's six. Sit that weight down. Bring it here. Lateral raises. In four, three, two. Stand strong. Let's go. One. Control it down. Two. Control it down. Three. Control it down. Let's go. Four. Control it down. Five. Give me one more. Six. All right, let's go. Sit that down. Last round. All right, get the thrust in. Thrust the bicep descends. We're going in three, two, one. Up. One. Control it down. Get set. Two. 
Control it down. Three. Come on, get it. Three more just like that. Four. You should be lifting heavier than what you normally curl. Five. Last one. And six. Good job. Take the weight down. Last set of lateral raises. Here we go. No time to break. We're going to five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Up. And down. Two. Down. Three. And down. Four. And down. Two more. Five. And down. Last one. Six. Control it down. Sit that weight down. Good job. All right, let's get my mat out of the way. Last round of cardio. Again, we got this. Last round of cardio. Let's see what you got. Let's get it going. All right, here we go, folks. Get the timer ready. Let's go with that jump rope. We're starting at five, four, three, two, let's go. Jump into it. Come on, it's the home stretch right here. It's not hard. We're trying to make sure you move your body. Keep jumping. It's probably not a good idea to have your weights as close to your feet as I do. So, jump the thing. Keep bouncing. Look at that. Soft knees. Just bounce. Come on. We start again. High knees in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Run it out, folks. Come on. Stay with me. This is it right here. Come on. You got it, folks. <laughs> Come on. Ten seconds left. Get those knees up. We're done in five, four, three, two, and rest. Ooh, let's get the weights out of the way. Get the weights out of the way. Take a quick break. 
and we get right back into it. Let's go. First exercise again, all right? And this time, we're going to collapse at a little bit of a faster pace. All right, we're going to do it for 30 seconds, but we're going to expand and collapse a little bit quicker. Let's get ourselves started. 10 seconds. We're going to a little bit more speed if you can. We're going in five, four, three, two, let's go. Up and down. 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 More than halfway there. Let's go. Let's go. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Come up one more time and rest. Get your dumbbell. Rush and twist time. And I want you to challenge yourself this time. If you're going to raise those feet off the ground, then do so. If not, keep your feet on the ground. Keep your full rotation. We start in five, four, three, two. Let's go. Tap. 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 Here you go. See, and this time I have my feet off the ground. But that's the challenge I'm throwing out there. If you can't do this, it's okay. This isn't a fast move. Slow and control. Come on, people. Ten seconds left. And it's a wrap. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Woo! Stretch that out. Lay on my back. Oh, the gunshot was at the perfect time because I am dead right now. Good show, folks. Stretch out that body. Get yourself together. Oh, man. The turnover. That last little burn in the stomach is a killer. So you know this one. Let's go, Cobra. Raise up. Shoulders out of your ears. Butt press firm. Stretch out that core. Raise up. Child's pose. Tuck that flat back. Stick your arms out. You should really be stretching your back. Your shoulders and your lats right now. You should feel the stretching all through here. Press those hands out, away from you. Try to press that body down. Good job, people. Come up, stand up. Good show today. We appreciate you guys getting with us this Wednesday. Stretch your arms across your chest. Uh, turn off my time. This is definitely driving me crazy. Let's get that overhead stretch. Big shout out to everybody that made it in today. Woo, we appreciate you getting sweated with us in this upper body session. We heard, we hope you enjoyed it. It didn't seem like much at first, but when it got cooking, it really got to cook. Stretch out your shoulder. Stretch out your tricep. Get it nice and loose. Look, and if you don't know, this is how we get down on Wednesdays and Saturdays. You know, Wednesdays, 5 p.m. Central. Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central. The best of both worlds. Let's stretch out those forearms. Because I know sometimes they burn from pulling those dumbbells. But hey, if you want to get with us, come drop by and visit. It's a free exercise opportunity. Learn a little bit more about yourself, what you can do, and alternatives to help you get yourself to a better level of fitness. Stretch this one down and go to the up next. And if you're ready to take it to the next level, man, I'm telling you, check out our fitness and accountability groups. That's where we get down. We stream workouts to your house for you to follow based on your goals, your fitness goals. We help you with your nutrition plans, and we keep the motivation up. I'm telling you, workouts just like this done in your own home can lead to major transformations. We wipe up basements on a little ridiculous. But we got something that caters to everybody's needs. Workout programs that are as long as three weeks or as short as three weeks and as long as 13 weeks. Working out as little as four days a week all the way up to seven days a week. So we got flexible accommodations and things we can put in your hands. And we also teach you how to eat better. It's not about just being on a diet and sitting around and drinking water and eating salads all day. It's good balance. We help you become a leaner, fitter, more defined version of yourself. It's not just about getting into a certain size pants, you know what I'm saying, or getting ready for the beach. It's about overall lifestyle transformation to allow you to get the best out of what you're doing, whether you're working hard and traveling a lot, or whether you stay at home with family. We got an accommodation for you. Most importantly, check us out on hustlegrizzle.com. Make sure you check out the shop because the Grizzle Gang shirts are still in effect. The model tools are still in effect. We're trying to get some tank tops in place for the summer because it is summertime. The heat's coming out. Depending on the quarantine situation, maybe you've 
hit the beach, maybe you won't. But if you, wherever you go, make sure you check out the shop, show us some support. Replays of this workout will be on YouTube, also on Facebook Live and Instagram, but sometimes Facebook trips and throw stuff away after 30 days. So be sure to check out the YouTube channel, show us some support, elevate the platform so we can stream live from there, coming soon to a theater near you. Oh, and don't forget, shout out to my people, man. I love you guys. The Grizzle Gang all across the U.S., man. Oregon, California, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee. Where else are we at right now, man? Ohio. We're doing our thing in Ohio. We're kicking it hard in Pennsylvania. We're in Indiana right now. We're in New York right now. Man, we're all over the globe right now. So make sure you show us some love. Hold it down for your folks. And if you got friends and family that are trying to be a part of the movement, send them our way. And if you got your representation or you've been to the show, already make sure you take a picture send it to our social media so we can you know just show love for the crucial game man we got love for you if you got some tips and ideas on extra things you want to see added in Saturday's workout be sure to give me a holler and we'll do what we can to make that happen I'm about to go sit my butt down somewhere and enjoy the rest of the day peace out and I'll see you later hey we got what you need we got discount cores over here Lou Ha, 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 ha.